Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can specify to how many decimal places you want to print out your double or your float in C. So let's get right into it. So, uh, we've imp imported stdio.h so we can print stuff to the console. So we've got a double D here, and it's set to 2.12345, and then we've got printf percent. 0.4lf backslash n and then d. So if you don't know how to print doubles or floats in C, there's an eye up in the corner for a tutorial on how you do that. But basically, to print out a double, we just do lf, well, percent lf. However, if we want to specify how many decimal places we want to print, we can put a dot and then how many decimal places we want to print before the LF. So it's still a percent, then dot, then four LF. This will print a double variable to four decimal places. So let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, it printed my double to four decimal places. So it prints out 2.1235, but you might be thinking max. You have 2.12345. This, what, what happened to the 4? Well, basically, since our double was 5 decimal places, but we can only print 4, that 4 got rounded up. Because if the digit after is 5 or higher, that means the digit beforehand is going to get rounded up. However, if it was below 5, it would get rounded down. So let me demonstrate this. So we can close it, and if we change this to be a 4, as you can see, it's now 2.1234. If we were to change this to, let's say, be a 3, it's still 2.1234, because obviously 4 and 3 are below 5, so it rounds down, or by round down, I mean just keep this digit. However, if we put this to, let's say, a 7, save our work and hit play, it rounds up to a 5, because 4 will become a 5 instead, because the decimal place after is makes it round up. So, now let's just change this to be a 5 and see what happens. And as you can see, it just keeps the same because we have enough decimal places. So, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching!